Hey everyone, on this episode of Coding with Kate, we are going to be talking about detachment! Again! So in the previous video, I'll have a link in the description so you can go to that, we broke down the root operation detachment to talk about all the different terms that are involved, how to use anatomical images to help pinpoint what bones or joints are involved and what all of those terms actually mean in relationship to that anatomical diagram. So we covered a lot. I also have a link in the description to the previous PCS coding procedure video so you can also see how we build codes within the code book just as a refresher. And now today in this video we are actually going to be looking at a procedure and going into the PCS codebook, procedural coding system, codebook, to actually build a code for detachment. It's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait to show you how to use those tables with detachment. So let's take a look at this procedure and build our code. Okay, so down here we have our procedure. Now, with the exercises in my PCS practice book, they give very short and to the point procedures for detachment because they don't have a lot of information in the procedures. They're quite simple. So we'll be using this short version. So it says the patient sustained an injury working on his farm using a hay baler Due to the unsustainability of the limb, an amputation of the left arm is performed at the mid shaft. So from this information, we know there's a limb involved. They say amputation. It's the left arm. And they also tell us that the amputation was at the mid shaft of the humerus. So from there, in our body system, we know that it's going to be the upper extremities, because they say arm and humerus, and the upper extremities. We know that the root operation is detachment, because they clearly said amputation. The body part specifically where the amputation happened was the mid shaft of the humerus, so we can say humerus. And then with all detachments, the approach is open. They are cutting all the way through the entire limb, so you can see with your eyes, every single body part on the way so it is open and it's a very large incision clearly and then we can go a little bit further and figure out what type of amputation it was so we know it's the left arm this is our left side so we'll be looking somewhere on this arm our humerus is this bone here and then mid shaft is right in the middle and if we remember from the previous video, anything that happens at the mid area of the shaft, that is a mid amputation. So this might be in our qualifier, mid amputation. So from there, we have quite a bit of information already to build our code. Now all we have to do is go into the book and actually find the correct characters and put them in the correct character placement. So with the information provided, we know the body system, so we could go right to that chapter of the code book, but if you are still uncomfortable with finding that body system, you can always go into the index, look for detachment, and then go down and look for humerus, or more broadly, the arm or upper arm, and that will direct you to the correct body system, the correct chapter and the correct table. But we will go right to the body system chapter. Since we know that detachment is found in the anatomical region chapters of the code book, those are the chapters we want to go to, which are near the very end of the medical and surgical section. And we want to go to the upper extremities because the humerus or the arm is in the upper extremities. Page third, a detachment. So once you have located the detachment table, we can already start building our code. So looking at the top of the table, we already know our section, body system, and operation characters. And our section, medical surgical, that is an O. Our body system, anatomical regions, upper extremities, is an X. And the operation detachment is a six. So we have O, medical and surgical, X, upper extremities, 
and six our root operation. So then we want to go to our body part column, which is our fourth character placement, and we want to look for upper arm or humerus on the left side. Upper arm, left. So that is a nine. So they do not go into specific detail about the humerus, but that is okay. So our fourth character placement, our body part, that's a nine for the left upper arm, since that is where the humerus is located. Then we want to go to our approach, which is our fifth character placement. The only option you're given is open, so we are going to put an O for open. Then to our device character, which is our sixth character placement. There are no devices involved or offered in detachment, so we put a Z. A Z. And then we get to our qualifier. We stay within our row to the qualifier. The amputation took place at the mid shaft. We already know that is a mid amputation, so we would put a two. And that is our code. Easy peasy. OX690Z2. O medical surgical, X upper extremities, six detachment, nine left upper arm, O open, Z no device, two mid amputation. And that is how we would code for this procedure of an amputation of the left arm at the mid shaft of the humerus. So as you can see, coding detachment in the PCS code book is actually really easy, especially since those opera ports don't have a ton of extra detail. They really get to the point as far as which bone or joint was involved. Super simple. So keep an eye out for more videos on different root operations, which will be coming up pretty soon. And I will see you all later. Bye!